Hey everyone, and welcome to the Xbox Media Center installation and add-on tutorial. Uh, here we're going to show you how to install add-ons for Xbox, a couple of different repositories, as well as the uh, PYSQ Lite 2 uh, repositories you can get IC Films. So, um, first off, you're going to want to download whichever one you have. Um, if you have Linux or Apple TV, look in our description for a quick way to add the databases and to download and install uh, app or Xbox Media Center onto Linux or Apple TV. If you have OS X, Windows, or Live, just download the uh, pertaining one and uh, go through the installation. So I've already downloaded the Windows version, so we're just going to do a, a quick install here. You can just click Next right through everything. Uh, while it's installing, I'll just give you a little chat about what XPMC is for those who don't know. Um, personally, I, I like it the most for Apple TVs because Apple TV is really constrained with uh, MP4 only. Um, anything, it only allows you to play what's in iTunes. With XBMC, it actually unlocks it, so you can pretty much play uh, any type of video, audio, picture format. Um, there's weather widgets, and there's a lot of different add ons to add channels. So for, for video, you can play DVD video, VCD, MPEG 1, 2, and 4, DivX, XVID, uh, MKV. Um, for audio, there's MP3 and AAC support. Uh, for pictures, there's JPEG, PNG, and GIF. Um, and then for the add-ons, you've got IC Films, which basically allows you to play any type of um, movie or television show that, that was ever aired. It's a huge, huge database. And everything is uh, everything streams and it's in high quality. Um, there's a lot of other add-ons too. There's, uh, there's Sports, History Channel, Fox News, uh, National Geographic, a ton, a ton, a ton of content. So uh, first thing you want to do is just go down into the description and you're going to want to grab the uh, the file that's asking you to um, that one there's going to be zipped and inside is going to be three zipped files so what you just want to do is just unzip that to your C drive or your local hard disk uh, once that's done click on run XBMC and click finish first thing we're going to want to do is uh, go into systems we're going to want to add the repositories so go into add-ons go install from zip go to C drive and you'll see the three right there. So first one we want to install is add-ons for Xbox. Then we want to install the second one, which is the raw repository. Then we want to install the third one. Uh, it's really important you get all three. Uh, you're going to want to, uh, you can go into enable add-ons. There's a whole ton of different add-ons you can go through as well too. Um, each one has its own little sections. Um, first we're going to want to go into get add-ons and then you'll see the repo there add-on repository, program add-ons are there, then the video add-ons are here, go to ICE Films and just uh, quickly install that. Now that we're done we're going to go all the way back out to the main menu, go to videos, once we're in the video section you can go, uh, you want to click on video add-ons, you can see there's a ton here, Fox News, ICE Films, National Geographic, um, and then you can go to get more. This is where the repositories really come in handy. So you can see the repositories add tons and tons and tons of different things that weren't there before. You've got Cartoon Network, uh, CNET, College Humor, Do It Yourself Network. Uh, the list goes on and on and on. There's movie trailers, TV, everything. Um, just give you a quick uh, run through of Ice Films because that's what probably most of the, most of you guys watching this want to know is. What is Ice Films? How does it work? Uh, the first time you launch Ice Films, like I'm going to do right now, it's going to ask you to uh, download the 230 meg install file. That's basically a container file which tells you exactly uh, has the file structure of uh, all the movies and videos and TV shows and things like that, just for uh, for really quick browsing. So we'll just let this download here. And uh, it just basically includes all the links to all the different shows that you're going to be uh, trying to stream. One of the really great things with XBMC2 um, when you're running the Python scripts is you can add a lot of cool different widgets. And uh, it also gives you the ability to create playlists, uh, run slideshows. You can uh, import your, uh, your forecast so you just add the cities that you want to have in there. Um, a really cool thing too is you can play DVD videos in ISO and IMG format or uh, even in zip and RAR archives too. 
which is really cool, which is uh, where IC Films really really comes into play because it uses uh, sources like Mega Upload and downloads uh, the RAR files or the zip files and just extracts it and plays the file right from there. Um, as mentioned before, if you are using Apple TV or Linux, there's uh, tutorials in the description about how to uh, add them. And on Apple TV, you're going to need to jailbreak it. There's a really quick and easy jailbreak guide. Um, it's been used thousands of times. No one's had any issues or anything like that. We use uh, Seasons Pass. It's a, it's a really great tutorial and a really easy uh, way to uh, to add the repository and install Xbox Media Center onto your Apple TV so you can basically unlock it to do whatever you want. Uh, a really cool thing with Apple TV too is you can add a web browser right into it so you can actually browse the web on your Apple TV which is uh, which is pretty intense. So you can see here the file structure is starting to organize. There's TV shows, movies, music, stand-up, other, um, homepage favorites, and search. Search is a really cool feature because then you can just actually search what you want. Once you're in the TV shows or the movies or the music, you can go by popular, new, uh, various genres. Um, you can even favorite videos as well. So if you're watching something and you'd like to, like to keep it on hand, uh, it's really handy. You can just click on the favorite button and it'll add it right to your favorites. So I won't waste any more of your guys' time because once you guys are in this, you'll uh, really get a better understanding of how everything works. You basically just uh, just narrow down to the actual video you want, press enter or the OK button depending on the device, and uh, you'll be good to go. Enjoy.